Hey y'all, Joe here, back with another one. Today on Unbox, we'll be looking at the Fitbit Charge. Let's get to it. Picked this up from Costco for about 125 bucks. Since Costco has this bundle, it came with two of these boxes. The smaller box has an extra charging cable, and the larger box has an actual Fitbit. Nice little plastic clear box. I decided to go with the large size. The front of the box has a list of things that the Fitbit does. Activity and floors climbed, sleep quality, syncs wirelessly, mobile and online tools, and caller ID. The back just had a few details. The side has a sizing tool, which was pretty cool. Alright, let's just put the Fitbit to the side for a second and quickly take a look at the accessories. A few instructions on the setup guide. We got our charging cable. Seems pretty short. That must be the wireless sync dongle. Now here's the Fitbit. Feels like some sort of high quality rubber material. Has a clasp on the end. Charging connector right on the back. Just turning it on now. It shows the time, steps taken, distance traveled, calories burned today, and stairs climbed. Let's get into the review now. Before the Fitbit charge, there was a Fitbit Force, which was discontinued and called back due to some of the problems people had with it, like skin irritation from the material it was made out of. Then came the Fitbit Charge, an upgraded version of the Force. The Fitbit Charge is a wristband that does a pretty good job at tracking steps and a few other things as well, not to mention that it's also water resistant. You can get away with splashing water on it, but we wouldn't recommend taking it swimming. It has about 7 days of battery life with a full 2 hour charge, which may seem pretty impressive, but some other fitness bands will last you more than double the time on a single charge. The sync dongle allows you to sync the device wirelessly to Android, iOS, or Windows apps. The app is pretty easy to use, and it's also supported by a lot of other major apps and services. You can compete with your friends by challenging them to different competitions too. You will be able to read the graphs the app generates for you based on your sleep patterns, monthly exercise, and daily steps taken. You can also use it as an alarm. The band will vibrate. Similarly, you can also get notified when you get a phone call. If you are willing to pay a bit more, the Fitbit Charge HR is also available, which includes a built-in heart rate monitor. What we liked about the Fitbit Charge was the slim, clean design, the ability to track steps, miles, stairs, calories burned, sleep, and exercise. The silent alarm and caller ID was pretty useful too. What we also liked was that it was compatible with numerous devices. And another thing that we really liked was a sharp OLED display. What we didn't like about the Fitbit charge was that you can pay a little bit extra and you can get the charge HR. There are more affordable pedometers out there like the Jawbone Move. There are better fitness bands in the market now, with more features. Overall, the Fitbit Charge is a great basic fitness band that does everything that it promises fairly well, but it is more on the expensive end of basic fitness bands. Spending the extra buck to get the Charge HR would be a great investment. And if you're looking for something a bit more stylish and customizable, check out the new Fitbit Alta. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more quick unboxing reviews.